Welcome to our two-part series, where we explore the powerful combination of grease pencil and cyclos lighting in Blender. In this part, we'll be focused on creating surfaces, a street scene and a grassland. Using grease pencil, we'll add textures and bring these environments to life. In the second part, we'll dive into lightning, compositing and rendering corrections to enhance our creation. I hope you find this journey appealing, so let's go! Here we are going to create some kind of atmosphere. We are going to position a street road just in front of the shop and in the background we are going to create a plane to create a grassland. So let's start with the street. Adjust the position. Put it right there, and oh, there you go. Yes, for sure, this is going to be the result. Now, add a blade to the background, position, and this is going to be the plane where geometry nodes are going to work. You can always be organized. Also, you can check that everything gets into the right place where it should be and now we are going to add some thickness to the background layer you can use just uh, the modifier solidify and adding just a very low value you will get that thick that will get this shape much better let's start with the typical white lines of the street we are going to create a new grace pencil. There are several ways to go, but I decided to create a grace pencil and adding just a square. Well, not a square, but a rectangular polygon. Just a simple line for the sides. And then an uneven line in the center. This line will serve as the sideline, a continuous line. So we are going to position one up as here. Yes, right there. I think it's good there. And the other line will be in the other side. We are not going to see this line in the camera, but that will work anyway. I like the feeling of a real street. So now create that uneven line in the center of the street. Decide the, the size of the line, position it, and then you can duplicate it with uh, an incredible shortcut that is Shift R. That will duplicate the last action. You can duplicate just to the side and then Shift R will make it. I really think that this looks nice. Okay, those lines with grease pencil looks nice, but to get the real feeling of asphalt, we are going to look for a real asset. So let's find it. As you know, Polyhaven is the way to go. As you can see, there are a few asphalt so we are going to just unload a normal one download it and save it wherever you like i like to put it just uh, in a folder called assets in a higher level of my project so i can get it in other projects too you can just create the shader and with the useful shortcut control shift you can add directly those assets that you downloaded from Polyhaven. Decide the scale of the asset and the position. It is a good advice to add some noise to the texture, so those shapes or lines can be broken into different shapes which gives some realism. 
You can even combine different noises to create different textures. YouTube is full of tutorials of how to do this. But in resume, what you have to do is duplicate your texture and then combine it using this noise nodes. This is not a tutorial on this, so let's make it fast! Later on, we will make some changes in the street shader. But now, let's work with the grassland. We are going to create this grassland by using geometry nodes. So, we need those particles, plants and everything we need to show that land be alive. I've created a collection with a couple of flowers, grass and rocks. And this is a collection that we are going to use to create those geometry nodes in the surface. To configure again these geometry nodes, we are going to use basic tools like distribute points on surface, distances to points, and selecting our pre-configured collection. I have to tell you I'm not an expert on this and YouTube is full of tutorials so just look for it in case you want to go deeper. Working with this can be hard and exhausting. I wish I know more about the real working notes but I do my best after hours and hours and hours of playing around with numbers, I came up with this configuration. For the rocks, not a collection, but a single object with a very low density. We want less rocks than grass, of course. For the grass, we have to put all those variations into a single collection and then set a much higher density. I'm sorry, I cut the flowers config, but you can guess that it's similar to the grasses, but with less density, of course. Once again, this is just the beginning. In order to get your own results, you have to tweak it yourself. Now that I'm looking at this, I think that I should have used maybe the particles system. Who knows? Covering the whole surface with grass can be demanding. So why don't we use just a shader for those holes in the surface? We will download some particles with grass and dirty from Polyhaven. This allows us to make our render faster. After a few tweaks and tricks, you can get something more similar to a grassland with trees. I know that this wasn't the funniest video in the earth, but I'm still waiting for you for the part 2, where more things are done. See you soon, and please don't forget to subscribe.